I remember in undergrad and working to become an accountant, graduating at the top of my class, that was everything to me. That was the holy grail. And I was going to get that ring, doggone, Mm -hmm. who got in my way, they were going to get run over. But after working a couple of years in corporate and for big firms, I went back to law school. And my goal was just to do well enough to get out. I had a solid B average and I was okay with that. And I Mm -hmm. was happy for my college colleagues who went off and got those big jobs with the big dollars. And I was okay because I knew I did not want to go back to that life mm-hmm. because those firms were going to get every penny plus some that they had invested in those young people. One of the best realizations that I have had in my life and my career is I don't want to be the best. I used to, when I was young, being the best, being number one was super important to me. I would cry in band if I lost first chair clarinet, if somebody beat me out. The truth is that they probably practiced more than I did. So they beat me. And that happens from time to time. But at some point along the way, I realized that to get to that 1% of the 1%, the truly elite, you have to work so freaking hard. Michael Phelps getting up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the gym and swim for several hours. And he can eat three pizzas worth of food in a day just to keep his metabolism running. Wow. I'm impressed. Bravo, sir. And I don't want to work that hard. I really just don't. Good and enough yeah, is good enough for me. Kobe Bryant and Venus and Serena Williams, 3.30 yep. in the morning, oh, every day. No shade. If you want to be the best, just know that with being the best means that there's somebody nipping at your heels, trying to take you down so that they can be the best. And that was just a dynamic that at one point I decided I wasn't interested in anymore. I'm not interested in competing to be the best. I don't want anybody arguing about whether I'm the best. If I'm in the top five to 10%, I am happy with the effort that I have put in because I'm going to go live my life with the rest of the effort that I would have spent trying to get to number one. That's just me. The moment when you realize that you're not the best, you're the only. When the Peloton bikes came out and I'm riding and my whole thing was just to not be last on the leaderboard. I did not understand that the leaderboard has two parts. There's who's there right here, right now, and who has been there at any point in time. Hmm. And so that's a recording. (laughs) Once I realized that I was like, well, who was here live? I was racing against myself. There was no one else in that class at that moment but me. And that's when it hit. Once the competition and wanting to be the best and all that goes away, now you have really hit your stride and you are running your race and doing what you have been placed here to do. And your passion, your power, it goes into that. So you're not Mm -hmm. looking left. You're not looking right. You're not paying any attention to what anybody else is wearing you are just running your race one day my six-year-old found me passed out in the middle of the floor from exhaustion she got her disney princess's blanket and put it over my body she said good night mommy and kissed me on the forehead 